This garbage collector didn't know he was being filmed, but what he did will take your breath away. Picture the scene in a quiet little town in Texas, where Mark, a family man, has just adopted an adorable golden retriever named Leo. Everything seems peaceful, but there's one detail that's starting to worry Mark. Every morning when the garbage man comes by, Mark notices that Leo becomes extremely agitated. At first he thinks this is normal, that Leo is just happy to see people. But as the days go by, he begins to wonder, why does Leo run to the truck every time? And why does the garbage man, a man he doesn't know, seem so interested in Leo? One day, Mark decides to leave his security camera on to see what's really going on. He leaves for work, his heart in his throat, his mind full of worry. What if this garbage man had bad intentions towards Leo, he wonders. When he watches the footage on the way home, his heart races. On the video, he sees the garbage man approach Leo. The scene that follows is blurred, the camera not capturing everything clearly. Mark can't help thinking the worst. What is this man doing to his dog? He fears the worst from the butchers. Mark, with a heavy heart, decides to watch the images again, this time with special attention. He adjusts the camera settings for better clarity, and then the truth is revealed. In the enhanced images, he can clearly see the bulldozers approaching Leo. But contrary to his fears, the man does him no harm. On the contrary, he pulls a small bag of dog treats out of his pocket. Leo jumps up and down around him, visibly happy and excited. Far from being a threat, Leibur is in fact an animal lover. Every morning he takes a moment out of his rounds to feed and play with Leo. It's become their little ritual, a moment of pure joy for the dog. Mark is relieved and moved. He realizes that his fears were unfounded. The Boers, a stranger to him until now, turn out to be a discreet and caring benefactor for Leo. 91-year-old man, Paul, decided to stop by a roadside diner for a meal. He quietly went about his business, enjoying his apple pie and coffee, bothering no one. However, a group of three bikers entered the diner. The old man glanced up as they arrived, but simply returned to enjoying his apple pie and coffee. He just wanted to savor his meal in peace, but the bikers had other ideas in mind. After surveying the place and assuming the old man was the most vulnerable there, one of the bikers approached him. Without a word, he extinguished his cigarette in the old man's apple pie. Then the second biker approached the old man's table, said nothing, and spat in his coffee. It was disgusting and left the old man with nothing to eat or drink. The third biker walked up to the old man and smashed his plate on the floor. As the glass shattered, the biker burst into laughter and rejoined his group. However, the old man remained calm throughout the ordeal. He wasn't disturbed, wasn't scared. He didn't say a word to the bikers. He got up, paid for his coffee and apple pie, and then left the diner. As he was leaving, the bikers mocked him, thinking they had won. The bikers then went in to eat, and the waitress looked at them with disgust. They were still laughing about what they had done to the old man. However, the waitress's mood changed, and she burst into laughter, looking out the window and seeing what had happened outside. The bikers then looked outside and ran as fast as they could. When they came out of the restaurant, their three motorcycles were crushed on the ground. It was the old man who had driven his truck over all their motorcycles. The old man knew he couldn't do anything to get back at them in the restaurant, so he took it out on what the bikers loved most, their motorcycles. By the time the bikers realized what the old man had done, he was already far away, and even if they had not been able to get back, if they wanted to follow him, they couldn't, because they had no more motorcycles. The woman owned an African gray parrot, known for their long lifespan and ability to mimic sounds or words. She had had the parrot for 26 years. The bird had come to visit the woman in her final moments, but when it realized that these were their last moments together, it started crying, because it knew she was about to take her last breath. The woman, aware of her impending passing, turned her gaze towards the parrot, her eyes filled with emotion. Despite her weakness, she gathered her last bit of strength to bid her final farewell. She whispered words of love to him, expressing all that she felt, tears streaming down her face. That's when the unimaginable happened. The parrot, displaying astonishing intelligence and sensitivity, responded to the woman's words in a way that left all the witnesses present speechless. Immediately after her farewell, the bird responded to the dying woman by saying, I love you. Doctors were about to turn off her life support, but then a miracle occurred. Sam Hemming, a 22-year-old law graduate, was driving home on a rainy day in England from her part-time job. Suddenly, a truck crashed into her from behind, causing her to lose control of the car and crash into the guardrail. Sam was airlifted to the hospital, 
where surgeons operated on her for six hours before placing her in a medically induced coma. She suffered devastating head injuries, leaving her brain dead with no hope of recovery. Two weeks later, doctors advised her devastated parents to prepare for the worst and to switch off her life support machine, as she was confirmed brain dead and there was nothing they could do to save her life. Sam's family, with heavy hearts and tearful eyes, gathered solemnly around her hospital bedside to say their final farewells, having made the heart-wrenching decision to switch off her life support machine. However, moments before the apparatus was disconnected, the mother screamed out. She saw how her daughter wiggled with her big toe. Apparently, her body was responding to heat, indicating that there was still some brain function. Only a few days later, she was able to breathe on her own again without the life support machine, and the doctors could take her out of the coma. Remarkably, just eight weeks later, she was deemed weak and could not breathe. She was well enough to return home, and her family was just happy that she had survived such a severe car accident. 97-year-old man eats alone at Arby's every single day until employees realize something's off. The man would go to Arby's every single day and sit at the same exact table. He would sit there alone and eat the same roast beef sandwich. He did this for years until one day the employees realized something off. On a random Saturday, the man walked into Arby's, ordered the same roast beef sandwich, but did not eat it. When asked why the man did not eat his sandwich, he began to cry. The manager then walked and sat next to the old man. The man told the manager that he was a veteran who served the country. He had no more family left. That's why he was crying. When the manager heard this story, you would not believe what he did for the veteran. The 97-year-old man told the manager that he used to come to the Arby's with his wife. However, his wife passed away, so he never stopped coming to that same Arby's to eat the same roast beef sandwich. Upon listening to the heartwarming and poignant story of the old man, the manager was deeply moved and felt compelled to act in a gesture of kindness. Acknowledging the emotional weight and significance of the story, he made the generous decision to offer the elderly gentleman free meals at Arby's for the rest of his life, a token of appreciation and compassion for the experiences he shared. Young girl is rejected before the prom, but hears a famous voice over the loudspeaker and breaks down in tears. Katie was a normal girl who was not very popular. Prom was coming up and right before prom she got rejected. Katie was the only one without a prom date. However, Katie was a big fan of Dwayne The Rock Johnson. She would even dress up like him for Halloween. After being rejected before prom, Katie's one wish was to go to prom with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. She DM'd him constantly until she got his attention. She told The Rock her story of how she got rejected before prom. Katie did not think The Rock was ever going to respond until one day she hears a voice on the loudspeaker. The Rock sent a message to Katie over the loudspeaker at her school. But you'll never believe what the message said. He told Katie that he could not go to prom with her because that would be illegal. He had an extraordinary surprise in store for her, one that exceeded her wildest dreams. In a grand gesture of kindness, he had secured tickets for Katie and her her friends to attend the exclusive screening of his latest movie. Overwhelmed with emotion and disbelief at this unexpected turn of events, Katie found herself unable to hold back her tears, which began to flow freely in a mix of joy and astonishment. Everyone laughed at him when he married her, but two years later, they regretted it. The story begins with this guy named Sean, who met Amelia and instantly fell in love. But when he would tell his friends about her, they would just laugh. But Sean knew he loved Amelia and was going to propose to her. Amelia had always been bullied because of her weight, but Sean loved her no matter what. When they went out in public, they would get dirty looks. People would laugh at them in the streets. But Sean did not care and decided to marry her. Two years down the line, Amelia had a secret that Sean did not know about. Sean was so in love with Amelia, he decided to marry her regardless of people laughing at him. They got married on the beach and looked very happy. But two years down the line, Amelia had a deep secret. Sean started to notice that something was off. The couple looked happy, but Amelia was keeping something from Sean. Amelia had been distant for many months, and one day Sean decided to ask Amelia what was wrong. Amelia finally opened up and said that she had been cheating on Sean. Immediately when Sean heard this, he was shocked. He was so angry and felt betrayed. They were judged and humiliated because he married her. See how their relationship looks like two years later. The couple had met and instantly fell in love despite people telling them they should not get married. They dated for many years and he eventually proposed to her. Despite his friends telling him not to marry her, he didn't listen because he loved her and they ended up getting married. After getting married, they wanted to build a life together despite all the people who said they couldn't. 
They ended up having two kids, but soon after that, their life began to fall apart. You might find it hard to fathom the current state of their relationship, especially after what has transpired. The guy revealed a surprising and somewhat unsettling truth. Throughout the duration of their relationship, he was harboring feelings of unhappiness, a sentiment that was veiled beneath the surface, unbeknownst to many who knew them. He also posted a video of the girl allegedly abusing him while they're in a relationship. Among those who have heard his story, opinions are sharply divided. There are some who readily accept his version of events, placing their trust in his words. On the other hand, there exists a skeptical group, individuals who harbor doubts and choose not to believe him, questioning the veracity of his claims. This woman was sleeping with a snake every night until the day the vet showed her what was really inside of him. Since Emma's boyfriend had cheated on her with his best friend and they got together, Emma felt alone. So she adopted a snake and decided to sleep with him every night. And for her, this situation was completely normal. But when she was bringing back family or friends to the house and they saw that she was sleeping with a snake, he found it very strange and he warned her that it was very dangerous and that she had to consult a psychiatrist or a psychologist to get help. But Emma didn't listen to her friends and continued to sleep with her snake every night. That said, one day she noticed that something was wrong with her snake. She subsequently brought it to a veterinary clinic for a more comprehensive assessment. Following this, the veterinarian conducted an extensive series of tests and evaluations. He was immediately shocked by what he discovered and begged the woman to get rid of this snake because what he found inside the snake shocked her. The vet told Emma that she had to get rid of her snake, and when she asked him why, he said that the snake was starving to have enough room in its stomach one day to devour it during its sleep. Daughter came to say goodbye to her mother. She notices something strange and stops the funeral. The story begins when the mom began to feel sick. She then went to the doctor to try to figure out what was wrong. After many tests, the doctors came to a conclusion that she had cancer and she didn't have much time to live. The mother and the daughter were so close, but she didn't want to tell her daughter because it would make her sad. However, when she told her husband, he broke down in tears. Several months later, the woman died, but what happens next will shock you. During the funeral, the daughter decided to say goodbye to her mother. The daughter walked towards the casket, but she notices something strange and stops the funeral. The crowd was extremely shocked but you will never believe what happens next. When the daughter walked closer to the casket to say goodbye to her mother, she notices a random woman in the crowd. The daughter has seen this woman talking to her dad multiple times, but didn't think anything of it. But as the funeral was going on, their dad began to talk to the random woman. They were talking for a long time during the funeral, which led the daughter to become suspicious. And as the daughter was saying goodbye to her mother, she immediately stopped the funeral. She then put two and two together and realized that her dad was cheating on her mom the whole time she was sick. The daughter was so close to her mother and didn't think that the dad was capable of doing something like this. The daughter began to yell, saying, this woman killed my mom. This left the crowd speechless. The woman who the husband was cheating with felt so embarrassed she had to leave the funeral. Teacher forgets to hang up phone, then mom overhears something that leaves her disgusted. Beth, a mother whose daughter with ADHD attended a special school, received a phone call from her teacher. When Beth answered the phone, the teacher informed Beth that her daughter was struggling at school. The teacher talked with Beth about a few options to help her daughter improve in school and offered her extra classes, but overall was very positive about the entire situation. Beth discussed with the teacher for about 15 minutes before thanking her for her time and hanging up. But two minutes later, Beth received a notification saying that she received a voicemail from that same teacher. Beth decided to listen to the voicemail and immediately realized that the teacher had forgot to hang up the phone after their previous conversation. Beth listened to the entire voicemail and what she heard the teacher say left her absolutely disgusted. She then realized why her daughter always came home late at night and didn't even know she was home. Beth came home in a bad mood from school and never really liked to talk about her teacher. The teacher seemed to be very understanding and promised to help the girl one-on-one. -on -one. Beth was extremely relieved that her daughter's teacher wanted to help so much. But when she hung up the phone, she received a notification for a voicemail. When Beth began listening to the voicemail, she immediately realized that the teacher forgot to hang up and it recorded the entire thing. As Beth listened, she heard the teacher laughing and mocking her daughter. 
The teacher even began mocking Beth and her daughter's physical appearance and laughed about her ADHD disability. After confronting the school district, it was later revealed that the teacher was not only mocking her, but also physically assaulted her once by hitting her in the face with a book. Beth decided to sue the school and the teacher, and in the end, won the case. The school had to pay her damages, and the teacher was fired immediately. Her daughter now enjoys going to school again, and her grades have significantly improved.